this video, I like to discuss how can we actually visualize the antenna performance. Okay, so basically there are three types. The first one will be the 3D radiation pattern. From this diagram here, you can see that whether the antenna is directed or only direction, it can be easily tell by this 3D radiation pattern. So in short, 3D radiation pattern give a complete holistic view of the antenna performance. It also clearly shows the main loop. So this is actually the main loop and also the side loop announced in all direction. However, coming to the negative, okay, so the information can be very clutter and difficult to extract, especially when we want to have a very precise numerical data. So hence, okay, the 3D radiation pattern are not for technical report or data specs. The next one will be the 2D polar coordination system. Okay, so basically from this diagram here, you can clearly visualize the beam width. Okay, you can also see whether is this antenna directive or not, and also the side loop level. Okay, so therefore you have this intrusive for understanding the angular coverage. Coming to the negative aspect of this 2D polar coordination system, Typically, you need require at least two plots, the azimuth plane and also the elevation plane in order to fully categorize the antenna. The logarithm scale can be compressed and plot. Okay, so therefore, this actually makes the low-level side look very difficult to see. So basically, from this diagram here, you can see that this is actually the 3D radiation pattern based on the cut. For example, if we cut under this purple line, this will be known as the azimuth plane when we actually cut at this blue color line, this will be known as the elevation plane. Next will be the 2D Cartesian coordination. What will be the pro when we actually use this Cartesian coordination system? We are going to have excellent dynamic range. What is actually dynamic range? Basically, dynamic range basically refer to the highest and also to the lowest point. From this diagram here, you can clearly see the highest and the lowest point, which is known as the dynamic range. So basically, this is very precise and very easy to read. However, from here, you probably cannot tell how directive the antenna is. So guys, if you want to know more about the visualize of antenna performance, see the playlist. Thank you so much.